I'm going to be talking about BPDCN or blastic plasma cytoid dendritic cell neoplasm in a session about uh, rare cancers and um, how, how we think about them in 2024. So I'm going to walk people through um, recent updates in the WHO diagnostic criteria for BPDCN and how that changes how we think about um, uh, evaluating patients when they come to the clinic. Uh, I'm also going to talk about some recent um, publications, including some of our own and others, about the pathogenesis of BPDCN and how that's changed a little bit, um, how we think about how the disease can evolve. Um, this is particularly important because many of these patients evolve from a pre-existing myeloid neoplasm, like a myelodysplastic syndrome or CMML. And so it underscores how we should think about um, these patients, particularly if they have one of those disorders and then they develop uh, with these characteristic skin lesions that could be BPDCN and, and how we should uh, think about that. And then finally, I'm going to talk about sort of the landscape of um, approved treatments for BPDCN in 2024 and um, also some of the not approved but chemotherapy regimens that we also use uh, for patients with BPDCN um, and put that in, in context of sort of the way we think about uh, patients.